I'm going to demonstrate how to put a new flat spring hole, uh, drill and tap the new hole into a saxophone key. The tools I'm going to use are a little machinist vise, a tap wrench, screwdriver, file, number 56 drill, a 080 plug tap, it's got a couple of tapered threads on it, a homemade punch, and a rawhide mallet. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put the key in the vise so it holds it squarely. This is just a little inexpensive machinist vise. And the idea is to get it so that screw hole is nice and parallel to the surface of the of the key. So I got it in there straight. I'm going to tighten it up. And so the first thing I'm going to do is punch a hole with my little homemade punch where I want the new screw hole to be. So I'm going to use this. I'm going to line it up where I want the new hole to be. And I'm going to go on the other side of the existing hole. The reason to punch a hole is so that so that you get a place uh, for the drill to start and not wander. It's off a little bit. I'm going to punch it one more time a little bit off from where it was. And that looks good. And the other thing that punching the hole does is creates a little deformed area. You won't be able to see it on this video, but it's a little raised section. So what I'm going to do is just take my file and just gently file off the raised section. And that's really just to keep the drill from wandering. I can see from punching that it made this a little crooked, so I'm going to straighten it up again, looks good. Tighten it up real good. Now I'm going to put my 080, or my, excuse me, my number 56 drill into my drill chuck. And this is a 0 to 3 eighths. And what I normally do is turn it on just to make sure it's spinning straight. And I'm going to drill a little bit beyond where I want the uh, depth of the flat springs to go so I, I can get enough threads in it. Well, step you can do in a in a uh, in a uh, tap holder like this what I like to do is put the tap in the drill chuck tightly and get it started with the drill and I'm not doing this under power I'm just going to do this by hand I'm going to tap a few holes, a few threads, just by turning it by hand, and then carefully let it come out. And what I'm going to do is take it out of the vise and put it in my tap wrench, and I'm just going to finish it by hand. Doing it by hand gives you a little bit more sensitive feel for how, how your threads are cutting. So I'm cutting, breaking the chip off, and 
couple of turns and feels like I've got enough threads in there so I'm going to undo this and there's my old one the new one get it started There, and to get it started, threads right in. And there it is.